50 years ago today, patrons at the Stonewall Inn took a stand for LGBTQ rights. Their uprising against police is being commemorated as New York City hosts World Pride. CBS News' Dave Carlin is live in Greenwich Village with more. Dave. A crowd gathers here, Mary, and they're here to remember that night that made history, sparked a global movement right there, the Stonewall. We're going to show you a look at that right now. It is something that sparked a movement that marches on this weekend. <laughs> On June 28, 1969, the LGBTQ community finally took a stand, fighting back against what was then the NYPD's moral squad. Comprised of officers who routinely raided establishments frequented by gays, including the Stonewall Inn. On that night, the fed up patrons resisted arrest and threw rocks and bottles and launched the battle for gay rights. We know it was another raid when we hear that, but we did not know that was the raid of all raids because we were so used to raids. Bartender Tree Sequoia was there. He was 30 years old at the time. He still bartends at Stonewall several times a week. Also at Stonewall on the fateful night in 69 was Mark Siegel. And that experience turned him into an activist and founder of the Philadelphia Gay News. From the very first day it was, uh, we're going to take back our identity. We're no longer going to allow society to label us. We'll be out loud and proud and in your face. In 1973, Siegel stormed a live broadcast of CBS Evening News, protesting prejudice in the media. Walter Cronkite heard him, and CBS became the first network to discuss gay rights. Earlier this month, a formal apology to the gay community was delivered by NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill. The actions and the laws were discriminatory and oppressive. I said, you know, this, is, this has to be done. Otherwise, uh, New York City is not going to be the place that it needs to be. Our stories are our most powerful tools for building acceptance. If you are not accepted, you are not safe. For 28-year-old Raymond Braun, learning about the Stonewall riots motivated him to travel across the country to places like Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which in 2014 held its first Pride March. It was documented in the movie State of Pride. We should be thinking about prides in literally every community. Even if 20 people show up, it's a couple rainbow flags and a picnic table. That's important. 2016 is when the Stonewall Inn became a national monument. For this weekend's gathering, it is expected two and a half million people will attend. In Greenwich Village, Dave Carlin, CBS2. Dave, thank you so much. And the big World Pride March is Sunday afternoon. Here's the route. It kicks off at 5th Avenue and 26th Street and heads south and passes the Stonewall Inn and heads up 7th Avenue, where it ends at 23rd Street. You can expect traffic delays in that area for more on Sunday's March and a full list of World Pride events. You can head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com.